You're watching Blitz on Windstream Channel 4. I'm your host, Brian Carter. Sit tight for the next half hour. We've got some interviews for you, some football highlights, and the player of the week. But we're going to lead off the show here at White County High School with Coach John Brown, the Lady Warriors softball team coach. Thank you for being on the show. You're not, nothing new for you here. You've been on the show quite a few times, and we always enjoy having you on here. Appreciate it. Now, Coach, uh, you've had yet another successful season. Your baseball team last year, state ranked, and you made the state playoffs. Last year, the softball team made state also, and this year, yet again, you do the same thing. And the group of girls from last year, you brought back many of those same pieces for this year's team, so I'm sure the expectations were to at least get back to the state tournament. Uh, I'm sure, I don't know where the expectations were from there. Going into the season, where did you think you'd end up? Well, we were hoping to do better than we did last year. We made it to the first round last year, and uh, like you said, we had most of our girls back. We had three seniors, one starter, and so... We was expecting the, the girls set a goal at the beginning of the year. They wanted to win region. It's going to be tough. We have some real good teams in there, Hakona and, Hakone and Walnut Grove, which have ranked one and two in the state. And we'll see how we can do. Hopefully we can compete against them coming this weekend. Now, Coach, uh, with all the success that the team has had this year, I know, I know last time I had talked to you about your baseball team being ranked, you said you didn't really put much emphasis into the ranking. But uh, it is good to see the White County girls in their number seven in the latest coaches poll in 3A softball. Does that put, I know for you it doesn't really phase you, but do you think it uh, weighs on the girls' minds as they're out there playing? I'm sure the girls enjoy being ranked among the softball teams in the state. Um, it's exciting for them, I'm sure. And uh, uh, the only only ranking that counts is at the end of the year when if you're the state champions or uh, something like that, that's the only rankings. I know it's a coach, coach's poll, so it uh, doesn't always mean mean anything because it's a, uh, voted on by coaches that like you or dislike you. <laughs> well, Coach, 8AAA, eight, eight um, that, that is one of the, as you mentioned, one of the toughest regions in the state. You have the 1-2 team in Oconee County and Walnut Grove. So very tough in this region. Uh, you got to be happy with your team going undefeated going into the region tournament and region play. We're excited about being uh, 10-0 and in our sub-region. That was our goal, was to be number one. That got us an automatic berth to the state playoffs, and that was our goal the way they got the region tournament set up this year. So it was exciting to be number one. And uh, and so we'll get the opportunity to go to Columbus or somewhere in that region six area to to play, depending on how we finish and those teams finish also. Now looking ahead to next year, you're going to lose a couple of seniors, I believe, but one in particular, Stephanie Satterfield. She's been one of the star players the last few years, pitching and also on offense. So uh, it's going to be a big hit for you next year not having her back. But you do have enough returning supporting starters. That uh, just wh How do you feel that's going to impact the team next year with her departure? Well, definitely Stephanie has been a big part of this team the last four years with me. It was exciting to coach her. She's a, a, a very special young lady to me. Uh, she uh, practices hard, plays hard does everything that you ask her to do. Uh, she leading hitter on the team almost for every year, uh, leading pitcher for the last four years, except this year we do have Callie McDonald, which is a junior, and she's really stepped up, and she's 10 and one, and so uh, we've she's filled in nicely, and so we do have two seniors. But we have one other senior besides Stephanie, and that's Laura Sankster, and she's done a great job at second base for us this year. We miss both of those young people next year. But like you said, there's uh, seven other starters that are re will be returning, so that's an exciting part with uh, Callie on the, in the circle, and so hopefully it'll be a good year next well, year. Well, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Callie. I was, that was going to be my final question for you. She's kind of come on and made, a, made a, a big name for herself this year, pitching and hitting-wise. Also, heard of her hitting a walk-off grand slam, uh, pitching a no-hitter, a lot of shutouts for her. Uh, she's had a great season. Did you foresee her having this much success early on? I expected her to do well. Last year at the end of the year, we, we, she'd been sick for a few weeks in last year's season, and uh, then at the very end when the region tournament started, she f stepped in and won three big games to get us into the state playoffs. And I was expecting big things from her, and she's really turned out to do a great job for us. So she's done a great job. Well, Coach, appreciate you being on the show with us again. It's always a pleasure having you on here, and we're going to cross our fingers for you in the state tournament. And uh, hopefully we'll have you back on here in the baseball season also. I hope so. Thank you. All right, when we come back, we have some more interviews for you and the Player of the Week coming up next.